So it's April 21st. This van has been sitting here since last fall. We started it in February on a very cold and snowy day. This is my diesel that I converted with the Jetta. Still got a flat tire. I just threw a battery into it. Let's see how good it starts. The only disadvantage is that the injector pump is starting to get a little bit of corrosion and leak a tiny bit, which means fuel bleeds back to the tank, so there's an air space in the injector pump every time it sits a while. So it doesn't fire up right away like it used to. Anyways, cold start lever down, clutch depressed. Here's my stick. So you can see it's got lots of kilometers on it. This is the glow plug button. You can hear it click. So I'll give it about 10 or 15 seconds. And here we go. Oh, almost. It's just sucking that fuel that's ran away. Started better than that in the winter time. Try again. Come on, baby. It's never taken this long. Let me go. Okay, take two. I have primed the injector pump. I did that by unhooking the fuel line and using a squeezy bottle and squeezing hand pressurized diesel into the injector pump. It did seem empty. Ha! Huh, simple as that. I knew I could depend on this thing. Driven it for eight years, you know, and put a lot of kilometers on it. Perfect! They sure are noisy when they're cold. I bet I got the only one in North America like this, and the most fuel efficient at 57 miles per imperial, per imperial gallon on the highway. Now I just got to refill the back tire. So now I'll show you how I primed a diesel that was lacking fuel in the system. Let me turn it off first. So here's how you do it if you have an old-fashioned mechanical injected diesel engine and you want to prime the system if you run it out of fuel, or in my case, air seeped into your injector pump and gravity dragged the fuel back of the tank. Find some place near the motor where you can take apart the fuel line that enters the injection pump. So, just use a screwdriver to undo that clamp. I hate Volkswagen fuel filters. They're great big and they're really expensive, so I just buy these $10 model Ford ones. And you need a vice grip. So, take apart the line. It's the input. And put the vice grip on the input line that goes back of the tank. Then put your mouth on here. Start to suck until your mouth, and hold this vertical, start to suck until your mouth actually fills up with diesel fuel. It doesn't taste as bad as gasoline. As soon as it's full, put your tongue on there and seal it off. Then clamp the line with a vice grip. And it leaves the filter kind of in a vertical position unless you've got one already mounted on your, you know, shock tower or something. Who knows, with your firewall. Now this is fully primed, and the fuel can't run back down to the tank with the clamp on it. Then add fuel to a squeeze bottle, diesel. You can use a ketchup bottle or something like that. Stick it into the input line to the injector pump, and just keep squeezing hard until it won't take any more. What that does is it sends extra fuel back to the tank, purges out the air, 
loads, preloads the injectors a little bit and you're all set. Then before you take off your clamper vice grip, reattach the fuel line, make sure it's tight, airtight, then release the vice grip and go start your engine. Just, just what I did. It works perfect. All done. Big diesel, little diesel. Back home and be driving this thing the rest of the summer. Why not? And to save more money to buy more beer. to be driving this thing again, you know. Gotta lock the gate. take off that fast, but as fast as an automatic Chevette. And I'm in a windstorm, so it's taken off a little slower. Five speed. Sure ain't a very big place, 1,900 people, that's the population. Can't forget that place. Looks just like my bus. Nor can we forget that place, Canadian icon.